What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have a practice match. I filmed the practice with me and a guy named Justin, college player who's going into his senior season or junior season, I'm not quite sure off the top of my head, but at the time of this filming he is a 9-2, 9-3 on the UTR scale. Now if you guys remember from the other videos that I've just posted recently, I am doing everything I can to get into a regimented schedule of practicing both on and off the court to get myself back into full prime competitive shape. And one of the things that I have to make sure that I do is I set up regular practice matches with myself and whoever's available as long as they have a relatively competitive skill set against my own. I try to keep my UTR people that I'm competing with eight or above because just because somebody has a UTR that's lower than me or what you on paper would say somebody who's not as good, that doesn't mean that what they're offering against me isn't valid. Whether it's the way they play, the way they use the court, the type of ball they hit, there's a lot of different things you can do to benefit. So when I played with Justin, Justin, as I said, he's at 9-2, 9-3 at the time, and I am trying to, in this match, really dial in my ability to be more aggressive and keep the ball low. A problem that I've noticed when I'm competing is because of my years of coaching, I have a tendency to lift the ball too much. I'm not inconsistent when I'm playing high, but I'm constantly putting myself in a bad position. Bad position meaning that somebody on the other side is able to control the point and dictate for free because I'm just giving them that extra time. So my goal going into this practice match was that I make sure that I take as many aggressive opportunities as I can, make them or miss them, and just make sure that I don't allow Justin to get a foothold into point play for free. If he can hit a shot that gives him that position, then it is what it is, but if it's not something that he did, I can't let myself do it either. And I think in this match I did a pretty good job of sticking to that. I do want to apologize in advance because we did cut the video short. It wasn't on purpose. The battery in the GoPro died and I was so wrapped up in the competition of it that I wasn't really checking the GoPro on changeovers to make sure. So we end in the middle of the second set. I put the score up at the end. I don't want to do any spoilers. But in the comments below, tell me what you guys think about how I did in the match, how, what you like about the way I played, or which don't like about the way I played, and same thing for Justin. But remember, be nice, he is helping me out, and he's focusing on what I, whatever it is that he needs to do to get himself ready to play as well. So we were doing really well with the things we were trying to focus on individually, and this is just how the match turned out. So that being said, I'm going to cut right to the match play, and there is a scoreboard in the bottom, so you guys can actually follow the match perfectly. I figured out how to add that on, versus when I did the match with Joel, where you guys kind of had to just like pay attention. This one, you'll actually be able to follow along. So, enough talking, let's get right to the court.
special. All right, so you guys saw it, 6161. Again, sorry that the video cut out, but I think, from my perspective, having filmed some of the other matches that I've done in competition, I really struggled to dictate point play a lot more in those matches, and I felt like playing against Justin today, I did a pretty good job of making sure that I attacked as much as possible, and even if I wasn't attacking, I didn't give him a ball to attack very often. Now you could see in the video Justin was a little off on some of the shots that he usually is pretty dialed in on, so I think I got lucky there with some of the shots that he probably could have squeezed past me. But overall I think the result would have been somewhere close to the same with how I was handling the way I wanted to play. And that just might be the fact that somebody who plays a little more aggressive is a bad matchup for Justin. He tends to be a, a baseline grinder and counterpuncher type of player. I tried my best not to even let him get a foothold in some of these positions. So you guys let me know what you thought in the comments. And like I said, I'm going to be posting more videos like this as well as the off-court training and things like that. Don't forget the, coach, the coaching stuff is still going to be around, but I'm really prioritizing this part of the videos for a while as we go from the winter leading into the spring and the summer where I really intend to be competing a lot. So thanks again for watching, and I will keep everybody updated on the Instagram as well as the YouTube channel. And we will catch you guys in the next one.